Hey guys, and welcome back to our adventures in Minecraft. As always, I am Demonfire93, and last episode I said that we were going to start uh, working on uh, turning this house into a chalet, but uh, I really didn't have time to um, <clears throat> work out the details and build it uh, off camera to make it look good or build it in a like creative world just to get a concept look for it because the roof has to be pretty high peaked and everything um, and I'm currently suffering <laughs> I say sarcastically from uh, what I like to call life is strange recovery or period um, I just recorded life is strange last night uh, so yes today is Tuesday life is strange Episode 4, part 1 just came out today on my channel, and uh, I'm recording this for Wednesday. But uh, I stayed up until 6 a.m. recording Life is Strange, so I'm a bit tired still. I mean, I <clears throat> did my recovery period as much as I could, um, decided to not go into work as early as possible. I went into work at 2 o'clock, slept until about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, it was good to get me on the recovery, but I'm still a bit tired, so I apologize that today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter. Um, oh, pigs can get through that, can't they? Yeah, they can. Go away, pig! Uh, so, we're just gonna talk about a couple little things while I work on, uh, Oh, I didn't have this all done. Uh, while I work <coughs> on uh, enhancing these pens here. So, I have my information for 1.9. <coughs> There's a lot more of it than last time I talked to you guys about this stuff. Man, oh man, we're getting dual wielding. I think we already said the shields and the bows. Or not the bows, the quivers. But we got new arrows, new mobs called shulkers, I think. Shell lurkers. And, uh... <clears throat> I don't quite remember everything else. But, uh, new arrow types. New dungeon types. Uh, tree houses, I believe. Type dungeons. As well as uh, dungeons within the end. So that will be very interesting. I'm really frustrated that I uh, can't talk to you guys about Life is Strange yet. Sorry to change subject so quickly. But, ah, oh, man. I just. I finished recording it. <clears throat> and holy crap, was it as amazing as ever and freaking emotional roller coaster as ever and wanted to talk to people about it but I can't I can't do it until next week uh, I can tell you guys that uh, this one's a bit longer uh, two episodes longer actually uh, so Life is Strange episode 4 is going to be 8 parts coming out daily on in the morning um until next Tuesday. Next Tuesday will be the eighth part. And then next Wednesday I can finally talk about it because I will say, hey, if you guys didn't watch it, go watch it now. Otherwise, I'm going to spoil it for you. <coughs> but for now, you guys can't watch it on my channel, so I'm not going to spoil things for those who watch all my stuff. So the reason I dug out all those holes is so that... <coughs> Sorry, my... My throat is just really dry right now as well. Talking for four and a half straight hours and everything in Life is Strange. It's rather difficult. Um, so the reason I did that is just so we can get grass to spread. Jeez. <coughs> uh, My apologies. And so we will get some grass and some dirt so that we can actually uh, spread the grass in between. Yeah, we got a lot of sugar cane. All right, grass. We just need like a couple. So, <clears throat> this is the snapshots for 1.9. Switching back is 
actually supposed to come out the day that this is going up. Uh, first snapshots of 1.9 should be up on the 29th. So that should be today for you guys. <clears throat> and uh, it's not going to have the full features, but it will have some of them. Um, I guess there's a new two new uh, sorts of effects I guess like negative effects that they call them uh, there's the f levitation and there's the glowing aura I don't know if that means you can imbue your arrows with those things and when you get hit by those arrows those effects happen to you I think the uh, levitation one is by the shulker or is it by the new plant that they have the uh, chorus is that what it was called I think it was chorus right the chorus chorus uh, levitation status effect shulker projectiles glowing status effect spectral arrows uh, chorus fruit yeah chorus fruit see there we go. So, we have... We don't want to get the uh, chickens to go through. Why did I bring dirt? I could just do this. And go, ta-da! Put grass here. And have it spread to both sides. I'm an idiot. Sometimes I'm stupid. So, that is pretty cool. Uh, I know we have... Uh, what is it? the dominant hand feature coming as well so you can choose if you're left-handed that you'll have your pickaxe show up on the left side of the screen instead of the right that doesn't affect me because I am right-handed so doesn't matter to me but that's good that they are taking that into consideration <coughs> And uh, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do as we approach our 100th episode of Adventures in Minecraft. Um, today is the 94th episode. Saturdays will be the 95th. So what do we do for 6, 7, 8, 9, and 100? Well, as I've said, I wanted to get the... Uh, what the the uh, guardians? That's it. Go take on some of those in the underwater temples and everything, and I might do some uh, dry runs of that, where I just go and see how much does a guardian attack deal damage to? Me? How much damage does it do to me? When I'm not wearing armor, one shot. Okay, how much does it do when I'm wearing diamond armor? <clears throat> so I might just do some of that to see how difficult it's going to be. Do some research on these creatures so that we can have some more understanding when we actually go and fight them. And we might be doing a whole bunch of them for episode 100. If not, I'm hoping, though this probably won't work, I mean, since the snapshot... <clears throat> the first snapshot is coming out today. Um, I guess it won't really be feasible that 1.9 will be released by my 100th episode because that would be awesome and we could have Ender Dragon Fight 2.0. But uh, I guess we'll have to do that for another time, probably. Um, but I will have to expand <clears throat> my... Uh, storage areas actually if I want to accommodate the new blocks because there are quite a few new blocks coming in I've heard from random sounding pole blocks that I don't understand exactly to end stone stairs and slabs and I think uh was it endstone brick? 
an endstone chiseled brick and endstone pillar brick don't quote me on that I might be wrong on it <clears throat> the purple the new purple block that the shulkers deal with are uh, I believe going to have some sort of special thing as well and uh, we're gonna do some enchanting so yeah we will uh, I will do my best to in the in the time before Saturday uh, I will do my best to try and uh, get a concept for the chalet going so that we can build that or not build it but uh, improve the house redesign the house I guess projectile protection four. that's not bad I guess so that we can get a really cool house going so we'll do that for one episode and uh, I the reason why I have uh, the what you call it it's the expanded uh, animal pens is for the sheep I want the rainbow sheep and I want them all to be spread out <clears throat> lots of them have each color but right now I only have one of each color so it's a little bit difficult to get all the wool that I want for things haven't really used any of the wool but yes we have I believe 20 cells here let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen I believe 20 at the moment yes so that's 16 one for each color sheep and then uh, cow pig chicken and not sure donkey maybe get some donkeys in there that would be weird though because it's only a one by two entrance and that they kind of need more than that to get in uh, I don't know what else I would put in there Could put my dogs maybe cats if I found some ocelots to tame or I mean could make it a water pen and put some squids I don't see any purpose to putting squids in there um, <clears throat> I did off camera try and fill the rest of the area and boy oh boy are we low on potatoes I mean the carrots are fine and I was able to cover the entire area with carrots this entire left side is all carrots and it's all filled up but this right side it's missing a chunk of its potatoes it's got this whole section left so I'll try and fill that as well so we can get a full thing we'll get our path blocks going for uh, 1.9 when they come out when it comes out I should say oh hey I haven't uh, harvested my wheat yet that I'm sure has been ready for a while all right let's just do that so the I believe I said this before the uh, Suicide Squad trailer got leaked and I finally got to see it and it looks pretty good to me um, but uh, as well as that there's also other thing other news in movies and video games and such <clears throat> um, there's rumor remember when I say rumor it means rumor don't bite my head off about it I don't have to worry about that really I don't think because I don't have many big viewers that are like oh my god how dare you say that about this game I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that it's true or not I'm saying that there's a speculated rumor and I'm just passing it along because I heard about it don't hate the messenger don't kill the messenger have you never heard that saying don't shoot the messenger I'm just relaying what I heard anyways there is rumor of half-life 3 everybody loves half-life and all of that and so there was a rumor of half-life 3 but then there was a rumor that Half-Life 3 is dead. 
that Valve is taking members off of the screw off of the crew it's a skeleton crew at this point and so on and so forth just rumors I cannot deny nor confirm anything at this point what I can do if I want to get people to hate me is say that I have never played any of the Half-Life games oh my god we know that's not true I played part of one no I played part of the second one at somebody's house once but I never actually like played it I was too young to understand what it was or understand that it was Half-Life 2 but looking back at it I do know that it's Half-Life 2 I actually haven't like watched anybody play any Half-Life stuff uh, that's also not true because there is a custom horror story using Half-Life Two or was it Half-Life Episode Two? I don't know. It was a uh, the something the house thing haunted something or other. A bunch of YouTubers did it, and I don't remember. And I'm doing terribly at reporting this, aren't I? <laughs> Anyways, it's all just rumor. Uh, other news: It's Five Nights at Freddy's Four came out. And some of you who have been with me for a while can tell that I am, or tell by my voice that I am so excited about that. Um, I've never claimed that I am good at Five Nights at Freddy's. I just barely scraped through the first one when it came out. Couldn't even beat uh, 420 mode. I didn't even get through the sixth night on the second one, and I have still not even bothered to, to play the third one, even though I do have it. And now I kind of feel like, well, well, you know, it's a whole thing of, I have it, but it's just sitting in my uh, Steam library collecting dust, so to say. Uh, because I'm not playing it, really. I got it to play for you guys, and then I saw some stuff of it, and I was like, eh, I didn't really, I, I felt like I should have beaten the second one to have the right to play the third one, and since I never beat the second one, I just decided we're not going to play the third one, and by extension of that, I haven't even gotten the fourth one. Um, and in fact, there's already been... As the rec as of the recording date of this video, Markiplier, the YouTuber who does all of the Five Nights at Freddy's, is the Five Nights at Freddy's king, has already pretty much beaten all of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. He, the last I saw on his channel, he was looking uh, to come back and was going to play the 8th night when he returned from visiting his brother for his birthday or something like that um so yeah he's the king and I am a peon of Five Nights at Freddy's that don't I don't ever really enjoy those games I mean I know that everybody loves to watch people get scared from them and everything but they've kind of died down from me and there's also proof in their sales that they've died down for a bunch of people there's more people who want to watch people play it than there are people who want to play it um, and that's not saying anything bad about the game that's just um, each time Scott has made a new game of Five Nights at Freddy's, the sales dropped considerably from the previous one. I can't give you specific numbers right now because I don't have it in front of me, but I did look it up once because I was curious, and it was a considerable amount. It was like, oh hey, first one sold this many, second one sold like a third, I think, like a third less than that. Third one sold a third less than that one. and. So it's kind of 
Like, okay, we get it. It's a game that's over and over again. It's really good. Really sc <coughs> scary and everything. And really cool. But after a while, the hype kind of dies down. And I mean, I... I will admit I watch other people play Five Nights at Freddy's games and when they deal with the jump scares my reaction of a jump scare at this point is kind of just a twitch it's like oh I kind of slightly jumped at this point I if I were to play the, <clears throat> the third or even the fourth one more than likely I mean unless I could really because maybe because it's just uh, the fact that I've been watching and not playing, but um, I feel like I wouldn't have a good reaction. I'd have to force it and I'd have to act, pretend like it's scary when it wasn't. It's like, oh, oh yeah, that was so bad. Oh right, ah! But uh, maybe that's just because if right now I'm just watching it. If maybe if I'm playing it, it would actually put me in the right mood, put me in the mindset and everything, and I would be on edge and would f jump right out of my chair when the jump scares happened but as as it goes right now I do not think I will be playing either Five Nights games that I have yet to play and uh, unless I get a lot of requests for them I guess um, and I heard that there's also supposed to be some like DLC for this for the fourth one here coming out for Halloween so that'll be interesting as well yet again another prequel of the Five Nights game if you haven't uh, seen anything spoiler alert I will give you time all you know so far from my spoiler alert is that it is a prequel. You don't know how or why. What does it explain? So I gave you the time to leave the room. So by continuing on, you are acknowledging that you either don't care about the story of Five Nights at Freddy's or you don't care that I'm spoiling it or that you already know. Uh, that this reveals the bite of 87, was it? Is that the year of the bite? This reveals the bite and how it happened. Which is very interesting. The concept of this game is really cool because it has the whole audio instead of vid visual things. You don't have a camera. You're just listening for audio cues of, was that something at my door? I'm going to close my door. Was that something at my bed? I'm going to turn around and flash my light at the bed sort of stuff like that but it's interesting a different way to play it I guess but that's all the time that we have for today I think actually we've made a full-length episode almost possibly I don't know I didn't really check but I was only planning to go for like 20 minutes and I think I've gone over that quite a bit which is fine so as always hope you guys enjoy and I'm Fire 93 I will see you guys next time.